everything you need to know when playing a difficulty chart obby. A difficulty chart obby ranges from easy to hard with many stages in between, such as these ones in particular, and all the way to the tippy top at the end. All right, so the first thing you'll do is turn on shift lock. Press escape, press settings, turn on the shift lock switch. So it should be on and resume. Now, you wanna actively use it when doing your obbies. Purely because it's very useful. It can make you turn easier, it can make you go around bends easier, it can cut corners. Yes, it's very good. If you're on mobile, I recommend using the in-game shift lock. If the developer added in, because mobile shift lock isn't a thing on Roblox officially. If they don't have it, I suggest using first person. This is just so you can easily cut corners and get around bends and such. Now you're probably wondering the best controls you could possibly use when doing obbies. So basically I'll show you how I control my character when playing obbies. So if you look at the screen right now, I have my pinky on the shift key, ring finger on the A key, my middle finger on the W and S key, and my pointing finger on the D key, and finally my thumb on the space bar. This is the best possible controls you can use when doing obbies. So it is highly suggested to practice doing obbies like I do. Five fingers is the meta. Now we'll go through the basic jumps. So to do this, we'll go to max jumps. Also, quick side note in case you wanna play these games, these games are in the description of the video. So if you wanna practice, by all means, please do so. Okay, so the first one we'll go through is the long jump. So essentially you wanna make sure your character's turning sideways and you will hold the D key and press space. So you see how I stop right here. That is because you don't need a big run up to go faster. You only just need to give it your all at the last minute. So hold D, press space. Yes, very good. That is the long jumps. The next thing you'll see in difficulty chart obbies is high jumps. All right, so high jumps tend to be very easy, very easy indeed, if you use these strategies. Oh yeah, so you wanna hold W, turn, press space and let go of W and then hold W again. Now this wall is pretty big, so I'm gonna lower it down a bit. This strategy is mostly used for, this This strategy is mostly used for smaller walls. Oh yeah, so you won't use these strategies for super large walls. And there we go, GG. All right, so you'll hold the W key, turn to the right really fast. You'll press space, let go of W and hold W in once you reach the top. All right, so the next basic jump you'll do is wrap arounds and stick outs. These ones are basically the same. So for wrap around, we'll do, let's do eight studs. So hold D, turn, press space. Just like that. And it's very consistent, as you can see. All right, and finally, we'll go through the stick out. This one right here. We'll lower it down to, let's say three studs. So we hang over the side and we'll hold D, press space, then turn around, like so. All right, now we'll go through the glitches. We'll start off with truss flick. So uh, we, won't, we won't lower the wall down for this one. We just need to get the motion. What you would do is you would jump onto the truss, hold the W key, make sure you're at the tippy top. Now, you wanna turn to the right very quickly and press space, then tap W. The reason why I tap W is so I can land back on the truss. Yes, it's very easy, much easier than you think. All right, now we'll go through the wall hop, the dreaded wall hop that everyone hates, but I love. All right, so for the wall hop, you wanna aim for the middle of your legs. The reason being is because you can wall hop with your hips and your feet. So aiming for the middle gets the best of both worlds. All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna hold space, hold W, and then flick to the right rapidly, very quickly. And just keep doing that. All right, now I will do everything you have learned in one obby. All right, now the obby is just behind me over there. So we'll do a long jump. Yes, go sideways. We'll do the sideways long jumps just to get there. All right, so the first one we do is a wrap around. Then we go against the wall and wrap around it. Now stick out, stick out, up, and now a truss flick. 
This one you hold the D key and press space instead of the W key. Now we go around here and just jump on this. Now fun fact for this one, you see to hold your mouse in the center of your screen to land on it, like so. Now you can also press shift, then hold right click and land on it. Yes, now stick out. Wrap around and boom. Now we will do a zoom in strategy here. So you want to aim for the middle of the typewriter. This one you will also see in difficulty child obbies. Apologies for not showing you earlier. Now a wall hop. This one's holding the D key. Wall hop up. And wall hop up again. Now a wrap around. See how I haven't died yet? It's cause I got a lot of practice. Wrap around. Wrap around. Ladder flick. Oh. I died. If you guys haven't liked the video, subscribe to the channel and your star code screen my Robux and Premium. If you guys don't, you can just and thank you Robux for the star code. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. See you later.